Hey everyone, how you doing today? What is today anyway? Gosh, it's uh, July 22nd, 2019. If those of you that don't know me, I'm Sue Brooke. I'm coming to you live from the beautiful wine country of Sonoma County in Northern California. Anyway, what are you guys up to today? I would love to know where you are, where you're calling in from. I see Lily is there, my good friend Lily. Can't wait to, see, hopefully you'll see you in a couple weeks. Um, anyway, I'm here today because I have to address this topic. Um, for some strange reason, uh, there's been people I've just been talking to, whether it was online or in person, and people that I've surrounded myself with, I've not really surrounded myself with, but I've been around, that are saying the same kind of things. You know, I don't have enough time. I just don't have enough time to uh, send out cards to my customers to appreciate them, really? Okay, I don't have enough money. Oh my goodness, I'm hearing people say that all the time and it's like one of those things where it's like, ooh, you know, the, have you ever heard the, the five people you spend the most time with, those who you're most like, right? So I want to address a few things because I've been hearing th people say things like, I just don't have enough time to do that. I don't have enough money for that. I'm too old. Oh my goodness, I'm too old. That one just bugs me to no end. I'm going to be 57 years old ne this next month. Okay, you're not too old. Some of the most famous people ever, like I was just reading about Colonel Sanders. Check this out. Colonel Sanders started Kentucky Fried Chicken like... He, first of all, he was homeless, living out of his truck, trying to sell chicken recipes. And he was 62 years old when he finally started his business. So don't even give me that I'm too old baloney, okay? And there, in fact, go Google, in fact, I just did this, go Google um, famous people who were once homeless. Like there's so many of them. Like I'm looking right now, Halle Berry, David Letterman was homeless, Kelly Clarkson was, Shania Twain, Steve Jobs, for heaven's sakes. He was living in a garage. Okay, so like we all have the same opportunities. Okay, we really do. And you can say, oh, well, I'm not them. I'm not them. Yes. Well, you know what? They were in worse off places than probably most of you are. Okay, I don't have enough money. I want to just address that first. For some reason, this came up because um, I was driving today and I was remembering this time when this girl was going to hire me to coach her, to help her with her business. And she heard me say something around the lines of, um, you know, I just, I don't know if I can afford that, or, you know, I'm, money's a little tight, or whatever it was. I put it out there where she heard me say something about me, where she got the, um, the impression that I didn't have any money. And she said, you know what, Sue? She goes, if you're having money issues, then why would I, I, I just don't think I want to hire you. And I was like, oh my goodness. I mean, that was my biggest aha in the world. If you want to people to work with you, you want to work with people and you're, let's say you want to get them into your business. Okay. I meet a lot of people in network marketing companies or places where you want to get people to join you on your team. Well, if you put, if you tell them or you put it out there, you get them to see in any way, shape or form that you don't have enough money or you talk about not having enough money or time, why would anybody want to work with you? Right? I remember this girl telling me that and I just went, oh my gosh, do not put it out in the world if you're having these problems. Okay. I didn't expect to go on that. A little rant, but I just really want to address these things. Here's the thing, too. I was I was um, watching something or reading something. I guess it was a book that I was reading. Um, the Magic of Thinking Big, really good book I just finished. Um, it's all about we all have the same amount of time during the day, okay? And you know what? It's what we choose. It's the choice that we make on how we're going to use that time. And yes. I get it. I know people that are single moms that have two or three jobs that have kids. They have to get them to school and they're very busy. They have priorities. Okay. Sometimes those priorities take over your time, right? But you know what? I promise you there is a way to make time no matter how busy you are. I know some of the busiest people on the planet that can get things done. In fact, my friend Janet today, I was talking to her on our little morning mastermind call and she said, um, what was it that, um, oh my gosh, I, my mind just went somewhere else. What is, what is that saying that, uh, oh, if you want something to get done, you find a busy person to do it, right? <laughs> so you can always find the time. So I have a couple of things I just want to make sure. First of all, excuses, okay? And I get 
I, I have a couple of friends that I will call them out on the, they're making excuses for things when, um, and they don't like it. They don't like to be called out that they're making excuses, but here's what I see a lot. Now I'm going to tell you right now, I've had a lot of people do things that really hurt me. Okay. They, they did things that was the catalyst to make some things fall apart and some really pretty crappy things happen to me. And I know every, we all have it. Okay. I'm not any different than anyone else. But if I keep making those excuses that this person did that to me or that person did that to me, or, you know, it's because this happened or this happened or it's raining or whatever it is, they're all excuses. Okay. They're all excuses. So stop making excuses for things. Stop making excuses for not having enough time or money. Let me ask you a question. How many of you have television? How many of you sit in front of the television, okay, for hours on end sometimes, or get on Netflix or one of those things? I haven't had TV in several years, and you know what? I get so much more done. I'm happier. I find myself wanting to spend more time with people. And uh, there, there's this thing, I don't know if you've ever seen it, that why don't you ever see Lamborghini commercials? You know why you don't have see Lamborghini? Lamborghini commercials is because the people who have Lamborghinis are not watching television. <laughs> They're not watching TV. They're out there doing things so that they can afford their Lamborghini, right? So, um, and also, oh my gosh, I used to have a business where people would come in and, and, uh, they were, I mean, I had people that were on, uh, government programs where they were getting free things and welfare and all that kind of stuff. But then they'd walk in my, my business with a five, six, seven dollar Starbucks. Okay. It was their priority to go to Starbucks and buy that coffee rather than maybe buying some food, <laughs> you know, or something like that. So we all have the same amount of time during the day. We have the same opportunities. Oh my gosh, my favorite word on the planet is opportunity, right? They are everywhere. Opportunities are everywhere. They seriously are. In fact, I'm gonna give you an opportunity right now. I have a lot of things that I could use help with or that um, I have some businesses that I literally have like in a box that I want someone to take these business ideas and run with them. Um, I love to just sit and talk to people and brainstorm ways to help you with your business. I'm offering you an opportunity. No, no, nothing. I don't want any money. I don't want anything else. I'm going to make the time to sit with you and talk to you and find out what your excuses are and why you think you don't have enough time or money or you're too old. Oh gosh, never say that. <laughs> too fat, too thin, whatever. Whatever all your excuses are, let's get rid of them. Let's figure out how we're going to, you're going to, you are going to determine what your goal is, what you want to accomplish and how you're going to get there. Even if you take an extra five minutes a day or 10 minutes a day to work on that goal, trust me, you can find the time, you can find the money and I will be, I promise you, you can find the money. There's money everywhere. There's biz, there's business and opportunity everywhere. Okay. So anyway, I know I'm just going on and on and yes, I, thank you, Daniel. Yes, I'm preaching it today. I'm, I guess I've been around a few, one too many people um, that I've been either seeing on Facebook or I've seen them in person and making a lot of these excuses. So you know what? I'm going to give you a, uh, I'm going to give you something to do. Okay. I'm just going to challenge you to go out there and find a way if you're talk, if you're the person that are saying, I don't have enough money, for example. Okay. Here's one thing you could do. Go uh, look around your house and find some things that you don't want anymore. You're tired of looking at. Okay. And, uh, put it up on Facebook marketplace. I see stuff like that all the time. And there's also like buy, sell trade groups and stuff like that find something you don't want anymore. So let's say I'm looking around and I go, okay, my, uh, you know, I love my thing here, but I really need the money. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on Facebook marketplace. Maybe I can sell it for two, three, four dollars. Well, what if I have a whole bunch of stuff that I could sell this for? Okay. You can find money anywhere. <laughs> you can offer your expertise. You can do just about anything for money. Okay. Time. That's up to you. You go on your, on your, um, calendar and find time to block out to do that. Whether it's getting up a few minutes early or going to bed a little bit late. Yesterday, I had something I wanted to get done. I stayed up till three o'clock in the morning. You know what? I loved it. I could hear the owls hooting. I got lots done. Nobody bothered me. I found the time to do it. So anyway, I'm done preaching for you guys today. I just think you're amazing and I just would hate to see you 
not go after your goals right now and something that you want. So um, if you want to talk to me, go to meetwithsue.com. It goes to my schedule and set up some time where we can either, you know, meet in person or get on the phone or, you know, do a Zoom call or whatever and just run some things by me. I'm happy to chat with you. All right, June, um, throwing stuff out, trying to sell now. Very good. You can give it to Goodwill or you can go to Facebook Marketplace or something and, and sell it. My goodness, there's so many ideas. All right, so come talk to me, you guys, because seriously, I can't stand seeing people getting up and just working all day. Work, 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 work. Then they come home, and then they just sit in front of the TV for hours, and or maybe they come up with, have all these great ideas, and then they go to bed, and they do the same thing over and over and over again, and they're not doing the things that they want to do with their life. And I promise you, I'm going to leave you this one thing, Okay. I am living proof that you can literally walk out the door and get hit by a truck, okay? That happened to me. I'm still here, thank God, but you know what? Your life can end in two seconds, I promise you. You are not immortal, and you and it's your, it's the, the life is going to end one day. So if you are just getting up in the morning and doing the same thing over and over again and not doing something that you love to do or that you've always wanted to do, figure out a way to make it happen and call me and I'll t I'd love to chat with you, okay? Just, I mean, I'm offering it to you. It's an opportunity. Free. No money. All right. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Um, by the way, if you're in Sonoma County this week, check my Facebook page. There's several um, really amazing um, events that you can come to, and uh, I'm going to be doing some webinars too. So let's talk. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.